Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about Don't Look Up. This is a new satire written and directed by Adam McKay. And it stars a gigantic cast led by Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio. But the rest of this giant cast is Meryl Streep, Kate Blanchett, Timothy Chalamet, Tyler Perry, Mark Rylance, Jonah Hill. Who am I missing? That's enough. Ariana Grande. Yeah, there you go. Huge cast. And this is a really, really good movie. This film is really enjoyable. And it is about two scientists played by Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. And they have found a comet that is going to hit the Earth in six months. And when it does so, it is going to wipe out the planet and all of humanity. And they have to convince the President of the United States, played by Meryl Streep, and basically the entire American public to believe that the comet is real and coming and dangerous. But it's a satire, so it's actually pretty funny. It's very funny. (laughs) And Jennifer Lawrence is tremendous, as is Kate Blanchett. Yes. Everybody's good in this, but the two of them are really great. Jennifer Lawrence hasn't made a film in a few years, and I really missed her. She's terrific in this. I agree. This is such a strong cast. Everyone was so good. And Kate Blanchett is having a lot of fun with her role. Yeah, definitely. I totally agree. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Blanchett, both great. I also really liked Leonardo DiCaprio. He's always good. He's always good. Yes. <laughs> the writer-director Adam McKay makes a lot of reference to today's political climate, and I thought he does a really good job of that. There are definitely major parallels between things major. going on right now major. and the things in the story. And yes. I thought he made good comments on it. He just did a really good job of yeah. telling this story. Lots of stuff about climate change, lots of stuff about not believing the science. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a long movie, and I didn't mind sitting through any of it. Though I have to admit the last quarter of the movie is not as good as the first three quarters, for me at least. I would probably agree with that, but yeah, the whole movie's so enjoyable and there are some really funny jokes in there. Really? Some real off-the-wall stuff. Yeah. This is currently streaming on Netflix and I would give this movie four cylinders. I would also give this movie four cylinders. Don't look up. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you with the movies. Bye.